Welcome to the fascinating world of traffic signals. Today we are back at this intersection here in Pearl, Mississippi. This is El Dorado and Metro Park Place. And I had a lot of questions actually, people asking why I leave the concrete lower than the island and not go up to the top of the sauna tube. And that's because we're gonna pour those flush with the island. So for now, the time being, we're gonna leave the concrete low and then everything's gonna be poured uh, flush with the island instead of doing that sauna tube. So we're gonna cut that sauna tube out. We're gonna get all our boards back up. We got one more foundation across the road that we need to get poured. And we need to do a signal controller cabinet foundation plus a power base. So my guys are getting all that loaded up. They're bringing it out. We're gonna get all that set. Hopefully by the end of today, we'll, we'll definitely have the foundation drilled out. I don't know about the rest of the stuff just yet. Uh, but we have concrete coming tomorrow around 1 o'clock, so just need to be prepped up and ready for it, which we will be, and then we'll get that stuff poured today. First things first, I need to grab that excavator, and I'm going to get pulled around over there to our working site. And then I'm going to start cleaning out some of the concrete with the excavator, so let's get over to it. We are in this excavator. Get up this little hill, and we'll ride the sidewalk back. Don't have a guy out here to give me a hand just yet, but they're at it out here. So. It's got most of the concrete that I need out the way, out the way. Once we have the dump trailer out here, we'll be able to load it up into the dump trailer. In the meantime, I'm gonna move the excavator out the way a bit, and then I'm gonna walk down and go grab our digger truck and start driving it down here. I'm gonna plan out setting up this truck and this is where we're going to be drilling obviously the truck's too close i'm going to want it shutting down this right turn lane unfortunately i only have a handful of cones right now wait on my guys to get here and have more cones i'm going to get the digger truck set up right in this location be able to drill have all this closed f450 can pull in with the dump trailer and we can be drilling dump dirt drilling dump dirt drilling dump dirt so on and so on until we have our foundation set and ready here uh so in the meantime kind of just waiting on cones at this point so equipment's moved yeah i ain't got enough room to turn the, the digger truck just yet without shutting down some lanes of traffic or just this right turn lane so we'll get there soon we also need to get our power pedestal and our cabinet form done between today and tomorrow morning. And right here where the excavator is, it's pretty much going to be where our cabinet form goes. We'll, we'll pull out, we'll do a box right here, cabinet form, power pedestal. We'll probably relocate this sign right here. That is a yield to pedestrian sign. We'll relocate that in the meantime uh and then we got to trench a pipe up to this power pole to get power and we'll get some bores in here and our boring guy out here and he's gonna be popping some bores all the way around this intersection hopefully this week mr james is here he brought out a handful of cones i can grab the mother three and we'll set up a little bit more cones here but we are shutting down this right turn lane but all i need is four cones for that that'll work out Boy, our striping's a little uneven right here. All right, now we can set up our trucks inside of here. I feel a lot better about just being set up inside of this island. We're gonna get that digger truck turned around, pulled up, and then they should be able to just pull straight in right beside it with that dump trailer. Should go pretty easy. Where the hole is gonna go, and then we'll get a strap on that top side, pick it up, and I'll drop the auger into it. Yeah, 
this, this truck just struggles doing multiple motions. this trailer a little further away as well hey, uh, like route? yes sir gonna cave in and it looks like uh, it it's stopping right there about i don't know 50 inches down i see where it's this top part will cave in but i don't think the yeah bottom. yeah we'll do a big enough sig of too we'll, we'll cut like a three and a half foot piece and then that should be deep enough maybe even a little bit longer and uh Dude, i don't know i'd probably do four foot yeah we may yeah, if it's gonna cave in right there, then yeah, we'll do more. Now, I mean, we're digging and drilling as we're coming up, so that bit's still spinning. It's gonna be knocking around a bunch. Stop knocking, it's going off. It won't pick it up. <laughs> hey, what? Yeah, it's good with me. You go ahead and kill the truck for a moment. All right, we got our depth. We're gonna dig out the slot. We're gonna get all this concrete loaded up and I'm going to try to quickly go dump that trailer and pick up some sauna tube because we do not have a long enough stick to do what we need to do here. Yeah, make that happen. All right, we are where we need to be to dump the dirt. Let's go ahead, lift this trailer up. Oh, this thing takes forever. We'll say that. I think that's about what it got. So go ahead, hop in the truck and I'll pull up. Most of that should dump out as I do. I'm 
back with some sauna tube and as you can see our hole is starting to collapse on the top side so we're gonna get our depth again try to slam in some sauna tube an extra long piece hey right, before you cut anything let me get a measurement real quick <clears throat> oh I think, yeah good man uh, i would make it foot. i'd make it freaking seven dude seven. Six, six and a half foot let's make it six and a half foot that'll yep. get us on that good stuff yeah past that big and then thing. we'll backfill this whole area with the sauna tube in it six and a half yes sir as straight as possible into that hole ah it fits back in the dirt slot dug out trying to get our sauna tube fitted before there's any cave-ins or more collapses on this hole Just trying to get as far past and ahead as we can get Just get away from him real quick don't love how that strap's sitting on the cage either all right cage is lowering into the hole and just got to 15 Heat. Should be stopping here soon. What you do is just sat down on it. Alright, hey. cage is in. They're gonna try to get the biggest slot available, turn to it to where it's gonna be easier to actually run out our pipes All towards right. Jesse there. Only the truck set up and ready. In case it's needed. Ooh, loud. But now I'm gonna hop down and get them get help. With it. Definitely gonna need it picked up. Something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Move this up. Oh, what? oh. They got the bolts oh, lined up. Next part they're gonna be working on getting that conduit set inside the hole with them bolts. All right, this truck up should be the last we need it. Right here. Hopefully, y'all can see the controls. This truck's super slow. You're gonna need about four of them. All right, I'm gonna have to take dirt from where they dug out this cabinet foundation and bring it over to where they're at. Kind of stack around that sauna tube. I'm talking to myself, but make sure we don't have any blowouts tomorrow when we pour concrete.
So you got to try to jump in that left turn lane and just chill for a moment. Oh, that's big enough gap. I'd have just made it all the way across. I should have just went with it. Mm. Unfortunate. Now I'm the guy wasting time. He's going to get the green light. I'm going to let him turn. And as he does, we're in this. We got a big gap. He clears through. We can proceed through it. I got a huge gap. He's going to come you turn it in there. Home free, making it. Ain't much to worry about on this right lane traffic and so on. Man, the seat. It used to be adjustable. I don't know what it is now. Or say it used to be, it ought to be. I don't know. Where the handle is though to adjust it, but I am way too close. Can't use my feet down there, I'm too close to it. I'm like kicked up on myself when I try to use my feet. I got so much room behind me too. Oh, look at this, a vape. Digit flavor. Gross. Junk it while I get down there. Very steep incline, but it's an incline. Get the light up a little bit. Ah, made a mess. That's unfortunate for them Hawkins people. Suckers. There we go. Hey, that little cat motor. Rabbit mode. Kicks it into gear a little bit. Perfect little spot to be out the way. Drop that down. Drop that down. Killer. Let's take the man his vape. Let me lock this thing up. Make sure we're left and good. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, guys. Just want to show y'all. Dirt's packed up. Looking pretty good. The hole looks fairly decent, so hopefully it will stay like that until tomorrow afternoon when we go to pour the foundation. And hopefully no more blowouts and no more issues. It's the last one on this job. I just need that one, the cabinet forms, to get poured and to go smooth. And then we can get back to working it on Jackson. So, guys, that's pretty much it for our day. It's always like a shorter one on Monday, especially when we're up north because we gotta travel. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I may start trying to post these every other day, more than every day. I think that would work out better with my schedule and should make a little bit better of a schedule of videos going out. So maybe doing that. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.